Welcome Arisen. In this video I'll go into detail on how to farm death when you aren't strong enough yet. If you're already maxed out this will be all too familiar to you. First things first, you will have to be on your pre daemon run, meaning you haven't killed him on your current playthrough. Secondly, make sure your knockdown stat is as high as possible. Everything above 500 is good. If you're below 500, wait till you have better gear or augments. What will help you most are the barbed nails you can buy from Medlane after Supplier's Demand Quest, as well as the augmentations Impact for Strength and Emphasis for Magic. Just go through your equipment and take what has the highest values. Knockdown is a cumulative value. Every time you hit an enemy, that value rises, till you get to the threshold where the enemy gets knocked down. So the higher your knockdown value, the faster it goes. Every location has a different knockdown skill you have to use here, but more on that later. Now that you are prepared, go to the Bloodless Stockade on Bitter Black Isle. Death will roam here and respawn every time you access the area. Again, this only works pre daemon And the last section of the map is a cliff and a waterfall. Clear this room of all the worms first. Those will not respawn, unlike death. Now you have to lure him in this part of the map and up the stairs. Wait till his attack animation starts and run to the cliff. Stand on the right platform and look into the direction of the waterfall. Death will spawn directly in front of you. Depending on the vocation of your choosing, you have to attack him with your knockdown skill. The most effective by far are blast arrows, but they are expensive heavy and can only be used by a strider, assassin and ranger. The same vocation plus a magic archer can use toss and trigger to, to push death over the edge. Based on your knockdown value, you will have to repeat this process a couple of times. Fighter, assassin and mystic knight can use antler toss the same way as yellows can use toss and trigger. And my stupid recording self deleted the final blow while at it. The next best thing after Blast Arrows is the Sorcerer with 2 to 3 hits of Geisel. You get rid of death pretty easy. Downside is the timing. You will have to practice this a bit. I start casting at the same time as death casts his sleep spell. If done right, you are just a bit faster than him. The same goes for Mage and the High Frigor spell. It will be easier if you have Articulacy, Augmentation, and or the Worm King Ring to cast faster. For the Warrior you can use one of the Lash skills. And as for the Mage and Sorcerer, you have to get the timing right. Worst case for this method is the Magic Archer, if you don't want to use Toss and Trigger. You can hit Death with the Explosive Rivet and then hit him to knock him down. This oftentimes results in you dying with him, but the Magic Archer is strong enough to kill death anyway fast and easy with the Richard Hunter skill. And as always, stay strong and kill death. 